Hey everybody, guess what? Today, we are gonna get some grill action going. Just because it gets cool outside doesn't mean that you can't grill. Exactly, of course, now we're in Texas, so we kinda grill all year round. But we know some of you guys that may live up north, now's the time when it's starting to get a little bit nippy out there and you guys really don't wanna go stand in the cold. But, like us, I have grilled in 14 inches of snow because I like to grill. Because you're desperate. I'm desperate. <laughs> but anyway, today we're going to show you some great indoor grilling ideas that you can also take outdoor just as easily. So stick around, it's going to be great, and come see what we're up to. Alright, so the first thing we're going to show you guys today is something that is so quick and easy and this is just grilled shrimp kebabs. I'm using my tabletop grill. This thing has been with me for forever and I love it so much. I'm going to check on these real quick because these really cook very quickly. A couple Those more are, minutes. Yeah, yeah, a couple more minutes. Those are almost done. Getting really close. Alright, this is super easy to do. You're going to put your shrimp in your favorite marinade for about 20 to 30 minutes doesn't take long to marinate shrimp. Before you want to put it on your grill, you're going to want to take it and put it on paper towel like that and just kind of blot some of that excess marinade off of it because you really want to be able to get those good sear marks on there and if it's wet it's going to steam and not sear. If you were doing this on an outdoor grill you definitely want to soak your skewers yes. or use metal skewers before you... And I can throw shrimp too. Right. <laughs> because uh, the skewer will burn. Yes, and that is very important. And if I was to do this on my grill, I would probably use my metal skewers. I've got yeah. some really cute metal skewers that are just beautiful. But because I'm doing the tabletop grill on this, these work just fine. And this is something that, uh, I mean, it's something that we've become very mm -hmm. dependent on is having the ability to go. keep shrimp because it is a quick protein. It is. And this is, you remember back a couple seasons ago, I was talking about perfect proteins. And shrimp really is one of those because it's low in fat, but it has a really high amount of protein to it. And so well, it's, and it's got a really good bang for your buck. Yeah, and you can do these up and keep them in the freezer for salads or whatever. And that way you, um, you have go. your protein ready to go. So and look at that. And aren't those beautiful pink? Grilled perfectly, got a little sear mark going on. And then just like with this one, you're just going to pop this one. Now because of the kind of the angle of it, I'm going to stick it on here at kind of an angle. Because it won't close completely. Yeah, because if, you, cause don't. if yeah. you don't. And so we're just going to pop that in there. And so again, this is it's going to be just a couple of minutes and those are going to be done. I'm going to try shrimp. Oh, always. They're hot. Um, yeah, <laughs> they are definitely hot. Here, let me do it this way. There we go. She's so smart. Occasionally I use it. <laughs> <laughs> Occasionally. And this marinade that I used is an apples, apple juice based marinade with no added sugar. Um, mm. But you can make your own, obviously. Oh my goodness, that's good. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Mm. When we come back, <laughs> she's going to show you something. We're going to cook some venison. You know, Which we love venison. And our camera guy, Ryan, loves it when we cook venison because he has a vendetta against beer. <laughs> he has a vendetta against deer. And so anytime we cook venison, he's just giddy because he's like, yeah, kill them. Kill them all. If you live in Texas and haven't hit at least one deer. Or had a deer hit you. Yeah, you, you haven't lived yet. Exactly. And if you live in Texas, you probably know what we're talking about. All right, so these are done. Almost, Almost done. All right, so we'll see you in just a minute. We'll be right back. Hi, folks. We're back. And we're going to make venison medallions. These are, are actually um, uh, backstrap medallions. Waiting on our pan to get and hot. And they're very similar to um, filet mignon. Mm -hmm. uh, they're a little bit smaller than a beef medallion. But, yeah. uh, so I've, these are going to cook a little bit quicker. Right. And I put, these are in a chipotle marinade mm -hmm. that... And I can't remember what else was in it. <laughs> it's, it, but it's, yeah, it's but, a, like a maple chipotle right, kind right. of thing. It and you can sweet. use any marinade that you want in there. And, you know, something about venison that we have found is that it's a really good substitute for beef. 
You um, anything you can make with beef or pork, you can, you make, can with make with venison. venison. And it's delicious. When you have a hunter in the family that kills two or three deer a year, you learn real quick you've got to eat the stuff. you got to do something with it. I've made everything <laughs> from lasagna to beef bourguignon. And I bet those would be really good for a Wellington oh, kind yeah. of thing. Oh, yeah. And, kind of uh, mock Wellington. So it's, it's you know, entirely up to you. Mm -hmm. Some people don't like the wild taste. There, you can. It's a little gamey. Well, but the stronger the marinade, like the chipotle, right? Uh, something like that is going to lower that game taste it, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that's true. And so. if it's if it's gamey, something else that you can do is you can marinate it in milk, or in lemon juice. Buttermilk. Buttermilk is perfect because what happens is it kind of breaks down some of that gaminess and pulls it out of out of. Well, a, meat. Lo a lot of times I'll soak it overnight in just clear water, mm -hmm. drain that off, put it in buttermilk, and then until time to cook it. And that works beautifully. It tenderizes too. it and it lowers. It takes that gamey taste. Right. Now, if you don't have venison, of course you can use beef, you can use lamb. This, this technique works for everything, even pork, chicken, anything. I think we're back. We're ready. using an indoor grill pan, but you can do this on the grill as well. And we want it, we've got this heated, heated. Heated? Heated. <laughs> this is a high heat pan. <laughs> this is a hot pan because we're going to sear this and that's kind of why we've been chatting waiting for this to heat up. So. And you can tell, the uh, best way to tell if it's hot is how long you can hold your hand over mm -hmm. it and uh, the longer you can hold your hand over it, the cooler, the cooler it, is. it is. So this is getting pretty warm. So oh, we're good. We're you should sear. hear a good sear. Yeah. Yeah. That sound, exactly what you want to hear. And I'm just daubing or shaking off the extra I'm not, I want there to be some extra yeah. on it because that's yeah. going to caramelize. This, in this case, you don't necessarily want to blot the marinade off because that is going to sear and it's going to caramelize. And like and caramelization needs flavor. And the, the shrimp that we did earlier, shrimp absorbs stuff so fast. Yeah. So this takes a little longer. Uh, this has been marinating for about three hours. Yes, and you can marinate it overnight. Actually, overnight is usually perfect. Better. So longer so. the better. Kind of like chicken and fish, you don't want to marinate nearly as long as you do any of the darker meat or heavier meat products. Right, so. because it's a little bit lighter and it doesn't need quite as much and it cooks quicker. Yep. Now these are going to cook probably, we're going to say about two or three minutes on each side. Probably. Say. Just and enough that there's some good grill marks. I like it a little bit on the rare side. Yeah. Because um, rare meat is, is easier to chew. It's more tender. Yes, it's the a lot more The longer tender. you cook it, the tougher it gets. And so for those of you that are just starting out eating solid protein, this is a really good one for you because it is pretty tender. And again, the longer you leave it in the marinade, the more tender it will be. And the That's true. Yeah. I, and the, the thing is, when you start back on meat, start back with small bites. Yes. And work up. Yes. And whether it be beef, chicken, fish, whatever. If you know, start back with the small bites. And we have been, we're almost three years, Jennifer's three years out, I'm, I will be in October. Yep. So we're, you know, we tend to forget those little rules of chew, 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 small bites, you know, uh, timing our eating. Those are yeah. things that we get away from so easy. Those are important things too that we get away from. Getting That's a little getting bit. Getting a little bit there. So we'll turn right. them a little bit. So we get some good grill marks going. All right, well, we're gonna let these go for probably another minute or so, and then we're gonna flip them. And when we come back, we're gonna show you guys what these look like. So stick around, we'll be right back. All right, we are going to put that, look, look at how beautiful medallions there. Those are, you know what this reminds me of? Do you remember our Valentine's oh, episode yes. back a couple of years ago? This is what it reminds me of, that surf and turf that we did with the with the venison and the shrimp, and this is just another take on that. So this goes to show you how versatile things are. And right here next to it, we have this beautiful caprese salad, which is very simple, just slices of tomato, fresh mozzarella, and basil. Very simple, and it's really surprisingly inexpensive. Especially since the basil but, came uh, off of my back porch. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but the wow factor is incredible, and I'm just going to kind of dribble some of this. Balsamic and glaze just right over the top. This balsamic glaze can be used as a marinade on the meat or Absolutely. on the shrimp. And it's, when you use it lightly, it, yeah. it's all you have to have. Just a little bit of a flavor enhancer. I would like to taste some of that venison right here. Cut me off a little bite too. I'm going to. 
There's one. Look how you see that is it is it's, rare. It's, it's rare, but it's exactly. But see how I mean it's like butter. It does cut it's very not just easily. Very like butter. And it, when we good. are starting back on our you know solid foods, cut that in half and we'll just share that. Yeah. Yes. Well, and <laughs> and if you're starting back on so, solid foods, you need to cut it down even exactly. Further. But this is just perfect. Oh my tender. goodness. Mm. That it's is very just, tender. just about. Literally melts in your mouth. I mean, this is, like I said before, if you're just coming on to meats and things and you're on tender meats, this is exactly perfect. And one of the things that nobody told us when we were learning how to cook is that if you give it flavor, you can tolerate it a whole exactly. lot more than you can if it's bland. I'm gonna taste some of this caprese salad. One of my favorite things in the world is just mozzarella cheese with a Sliced little bit of tomatoes. with a little bit of balsamic on it. Oh, yeah. I'm not a huge raw tomato fan, but for the sake of science, for science. Mm. <laughs> yes, I'll get mine in a moment. Mm. Try really these recipes good. and enjoy because mm -hmm. they are good. They are very good. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. We are so glad you're here. Don't forget to go check out our website, 7bites.net, for all of our videos and recipes. And if you haven't already checked out our cookbook, it's available right now on Amazon.com, and it is available in both print and Kindle format. So just go run and grab your copy, and then we would love it if you would leave us a review and let us know what you thought. Because we're not intending for you to use the recipes over and over. We're intending for you to take the methods and learn to run. Exactly. Take what we teach you and go do it yourself. <laughs> Thank you guys again so much for joining us. Come back next time and come see what we're up to. Bye.